Hi, uh, my name is Grace, and I am the founder of Mink. Oops, here we go. Mink is a desktop printer that prints makeup. It can take any image and instantly transform it into a wearable color cosmetic, turning any phone, laptop, or printer, oh, sorry, phone, laptop, or camera into an endless beauty aisle. So I want to first talk a little bit about myself so you guys can get an understanding about how I came up with this idea. I'm a serial inventor. Um, I've done everything from medical devices all the way to jewelry. Um, and not too long ago, I was a student at Harvard Business School, and I wanted to create a makeup product. Um, and what I found out was the makeup industry uh, makes a whole lot of money on a whole lot of bullshit. And they do this by charging a huge premium on one thing that technology provides for free. And that one thing is color. Ooh. So um, the makeup industry is worth $55 billion. And um, in the US, 70% of all makeup is purchased in mass outlets like Walmart. But Walmart can't offer you all the colors that expensive prestige stores can, like Sephora. Why? Supply chain. And that's because volume discounts drive the mass price point. So they can only, they can only select colors that are going to sell out in mass volumes. So if you want like the cool niche colors, you have to go to expensive Sephora. But who likes paying for expensive Sephora prices? No one. That's who. So that's what the mink does. It gives you the selection of prestige, and it combines it with the convenience of mass. As a matter of fact, I'm beating the selection of prestige because I'm giving you the selection of the internet. And I'm beating the convenience of mass because I'm giving you the convenience of your own freaking house. So this is the mink. It's a proprietary piece of hardware. And it works just like an inkjet printer. You do not need any new software. All you need is a color picker to copy the hex code and any software to print. Also, just like an inkjet printer, um, you just need substrates and um, ink, both of which are FDA compliant and come from the same exact sources as those of trusted brands. I'm going to retail this for about $300 initially, and the ink and the substrates are going to be commodity priced, um, so they are very accessible. My initial target market, they're girls, ages 13 to 21. They have not formed any habits yet. And um, they are still experimenting. And we're going to grow up with them. And that's how we're going to change how the world buys makeup. Plus, this is how they already know, learn how to put on makeup. Um, this is their natural habitat. So clicking to print is just the next natural step. So I'm going to stop talking now and just click to the demo. So imagine, oh, demo, please. Thank you. Uh, so imagine I'm 16-year-old Amanda. Again, you don't need any new software. I'm using ColorZilla and Photoshop because why? I just like it. Um, so imagine I'm 16-year-old Amanda, and I'm watching Michelle Fan t putting on some eyeshadow. And um, I see a color I like. I pause the video. It's active. And I pick a color. It's copied. Then I just paste the code. It's a hex code. Every pixel has it. And just like any other inkjet printer, we've all done this before. It's very boring. Someone should fix this. and then just press print. The Mink enables the web to become the biggest beauty store in the world. Um, it not only unlocks images, it unlocks pixels. So we're going to live in a world where you can just take a picture of your friend's lipstick and just print it out. Hint, hint, developers. Um, this, we're printing eyeshadow right now, but this is basically going to be able to print lipsticks, powders, creams, foundations, etc. So all Amanda has to do now is basically just lift it, the cover up, take it out, and it's instantly ready to apply. Oh, there it is. 
just so you guys can see that it's makeup. I'm just going to put it on my hand. Can you see my hand? It's makeup. <laughs> and the case issue, I know all you guys think, oh, the case, just put it in the case, and just close it, and it's ready to go. So, um, can we switch to the presentation slide, please? Thank you. Um, this is all nice and all, but I think the most important thing out of all of this is that this is going to finally uh, train our girls to understand that um, the definition of beauty is something that they should, they should be able to control, not our corporations. And I think to me that's the most important thing. So finally, um, I'm excited to, excited to announce the launch of our software developer um, sign up on gracemake.com. Hope you can all join us. Thank you. <laughs> Judges, you want to jump in? That was a really, really impressive demo. Very cool. Yeah. What, uh, uh, obviously, hardware is a really difficult process, and a lot of businesses fail in trying to do the manufacturing. Talk to me a little bit about kind of your experiences and why you think you'll be able to help manufacture this. Oh, because I failed a lot of times before. <laughs> so um, this isn't. This isn't my first rodeo. This isn't even my second or third. You know, I've done this before. I know all the, you know, pitfalls and stuff. And we're gonna fail. You just don't. Ha you just have to make sure you don't fail when it counts. You know. So, um, and I, I think the best way to attack this is, um, you know, this is this is based on mature technology. It's inkjet, right? And so I'm gonna go to these. I'm gonna go to Epson, I'm gonna go to Dell, I'm gonna, not, well, Dell doesn't do printers anymore, but I'm gonna go to these printer guys and just be like, guys, let's cut a deal. Your business is dying, this can help, you know? And, and from there, I mean, I think it should be pretty easy. I think from here on, it's just negotiating with partners, and I'm not greedy. I'm gonna be like, hey, let's, let's cut a deal. Let's get this on the road, and like. But you don't, you don't wanna do the manufacturing or manage manufacturing, you'd rather license it out to? No, 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 I mean, I'll, 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 I'll I'll deal with this, but I think, I think, I think there's partnerships that, that can help with the manufacturing because they have the know-how um, that can speed up the process. Can I ask, is the idea to keep the same margin structure as cosmetics, but focus on the convenience factor, which is you don't need to buy all the, you don't have to go to Sephora, you don't have to go buy it, um, but, but essentially the pricing is still relatively the same. No, the pricing is going to be, per unit, um, the pricing is going to be much lower. <coughs> so um, per unit, it's going to be down to mass. So the idea is to disrupt both the distribution and the pricing mechanism of cosmetics? Yes. So I thought it was awesome. Oh, thank you. But, I mean, truly, congratulations. Thank you. In fact, you got that demo to work. Um, amazing. The, if I understood it correctly, and it was a little hard to hear, you're selling a printer to 13 to 21 year olds to make their own makeup? Yes. One of the things that I think you may want to look at is how do you sell it to kind of influencers who would then make makeup for their friends, either for free mm -hmm. or a business, right? Like 300 bucks is a lot if you're 13 years old. But if you then can turn around for 10 bucks, do like custom makeup for your friends, it's like a social thing, you could have parties around it, and you potentially could kind of disrupt all retail through this like Tupperware meets social meets 3D printing world. Um, and I wouldn't get too focused on what you're trying to do in the form factor and the business model, I would just try to put it in people's hands and let them run with it. Yeah, I totally agree. And I think another thing, uh, another outlet that, um, I, I don't think this needs much formal marketing just because also the web itself, it, it has so many networks built in. Like for example, um, when I try to do the whole makeup thing, a couple, like last year or whatever, what I learned was um, you just have to put it in um, the right hands of key opinion leaders. And right now, there are these YouTube beauty bloggers. Michelle Fan has like 50 million followers. And, um, you know, she, she has, our beauty bloggers, they, they have, um, you know, interest in kind of like getting the hold of the next big thing or getting, you know, they have interest in kind of like playing with these kind of things as well. So um, once they start playing with it, you know, that would kind of like engage people to maybe play with it also. So, I mean, it, it I agree, yeah. 
and I don't consider myself an expert on makeup. I happen to be wearing makeup at this moment, but um, uh, my understanding is there's base, there's eyeliner, there's right. Yeah. So, um, what are you actually printing? Is it you know? Um, uh, you know so, what type of makeup is it? Or is it, or are you going to be able to print you know makeups for different parts of the face? And then I missed a step. It looked like a sheet came out of the printer, and then you had a tub. Did you scrape? something off the sheet and put it into the yeah, tub or how does that? Yeah, I mean, that, uh, that was like, I mean, I, I hacked this up. Yeah. So this is just like a, a, a proof of concept prototype. Um, so your first question, yeah. um, the printer, uh, when, when it's all said and done, um, it's going to be able to print you anything you want. I haven't decided yet if I want to make it do it, do it all for you or if I want the girls to um, kind of understand, like if I want to introduce it via the substrates, just like a regular printer does. Mm -hmm. So you would have to have a different chip, right? So you would have to have like a lipstick chip or a, a cream chip or a foundation chip, right? But that's not a problem. That's like literally I could figure that out. And if I want to integrate it into the system, that'll take me a day to do. That's fine, you know? Um, but that's just, that's a business decision that we'll have to figure out. Um, but the printer itself will be able to make all types of makeup. Um, what was your second question? Well, was just on, I'll just poke on that one though. Yeah. So you're printing the pigment is just like an inkjet, but then you have to, if you're doing lipstick, that pigment has to be mixed into a tube. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a little, a little, you know, yeah, so. If you're printing the pigment. Well, the inkjet part of this is uh -huh. what's, is, is the pigment part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're, but I'm assuming there's yeah. another tub of base if it's lipstick base or mm -hmm. cream base yes. or powder base. Uh -huh. So I'm just trying to, that's not like traditional printers, right? That's a different kind of material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and, I'm just. And that different type of material, that's raw material. So that's why it's so cheap. Got it. See, I'm just breaking it down. So, I mean, these things, if you break it down, this is where, like, this is where the bullshit comes in, right? So you break this down, the, the pigment, think of it, the cost of that, that's like food coloring. Right. And the, the other stuff, that's raw materials. And they, they basically just kind of put it together and it's hocus pocus and they charge a huge amount of money. I'm just breaking it down for you, that's all, so. Cool. Okay, well we're out of time. That was Mink, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.